Okay, um, we're back. I apologize for that. Um, unfortunately, since it's on the PlayStation, I kind of uploaded them as we go. Um, so, the only other way is I basically upload it, re-download, then splice it together. Um, I think we're just going to kind of just know this for future reference. Maybe see if I can change the settings where it doesn't. Gives me a little more time. I didn't know it capped out after an hour, to be honest. Um, I do not like this. This is tough. So I'm looking at this here. So this is why I couldn't do it in four minutes. So the wind's going to push it left. If you're not careful, it's going to push it left into that bunker. Or if it carries further, I'm going that little pop bunker. I'm going to go here, or aim for this, and hope for the wind pushes in between the two bunkers. That's going to be my gameplay here. Yeah, so this is the one. I got a little hook going on. Oh, nope. It's going right. It's the what we try to avoid it. And it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. Uh, blast it out. Interesting. Let's. We're going to blast it here. I'm gonna be off. Not good. Not good. Well, this one out of the bunker, that is a positive development, but not on the green. It's in the short grass. Yeah, we're gonna do a flop right here. It's above, but there's it's kind of flat there, so we should be okay. Yeah, see? See, that's the golf strategy. Um, that I think works really well in this game. It looks pretty straight. Let's see. Ooh, actually, here. It should be okay. It's only four feet, but you don't want to butcher this. That one right. finished Walk up. away from par after that. Par. And the lead will remain two with two to play. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here at the Park 417. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side. Thick rough on the left and a canyon to the right. But a I won't lie, I kind of like this quick version of how they do the rounds. Second. It's kind of interesting. But I do feel like at least with the majors, you should play all the holes. I probably wish I changed out the playoffs. I bet, hope I can change. I may change with the playoffs. I know the playoffs mean a lot. It's just kind of, you know, it's... I, I think, for me, I find the U.S. Open a lot more interesting and intriguing than the FedEx Cup St. Jude <laughs> for the first round of the playoffs. Um, I'll give BMW a little more interest because they usually come here where I live in Chicago and I think going to St. Louis. So that's more like, you know, the home so bias no there. <laughs> so, up here. Anyway. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Ooh, that worked really well. Right around six feet here for birdie. It looks very straight. I'm just doing a little there. Here. Oh, Ooh. finishing strong. I know, it was kind of curving left at the end. I was like, oh, please don't go miss that. Uh, don't whip out. Now, <laughs> with just one hole remaining. So now it's on to the 18th here at Bandon Dunes. The fog starting to thicken up well, a bit. We'll as we finish this. this if we get a birdie or an eagle, five, you know, who knows? We might win this whole thing and we go the to uh, the key. Masters and US Open as an AM, which would be kind of cool. Good chance to get out of here with a birdie, maybe even an eagle. So I'm the current leader, so I really just got to minimize your mistakes. But look at this. See, we got win. So if I hit it here, it will actually go into the rough. So we got to go over here, I think. We just got to hope. We got to really be worried about that bunker. All right, let's see what happens. 
Oh, good. My little hooks kind of come into play a bit. Oh, no. Well, you can't walk out and I hate to say, but I'm glad I did that. that. that Didn't roll X in the bunkers right and kind there. of stayed. Just got rookie rolled out of the rough. Yeah, because the approach from here is not bad. And we got the wind behind us now. Like, actually, this will benefit us. So I say it's a big green. So I say here, the wind should keep it left of that slope. Even if you clear the slope, it should keep it on the green, depending on how much um, it's, it rolls. Uh, oof, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I hooked it. So, we'll have the distance right just a little bit offline to the left, and a little bit left too. With this third shot. Oh, that's not good. So the rock kind of looks like it impacts the swing quite a bit. So we're just gonna flop it. Just par, you know, you just don't want to miss the par. Should be pretty straight, yep. Yeah, so you parted, good, we, didn't, we didn't give up the ground, that's the best you could do after that 18. second shot. And that'll be a final round score of 70. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, they're actually going to make me the winner. Very nice. The future greatness. It's an amateur title for our featured player, and it does include a ticket to compete in the Masters and the U.S. Open. Huge present on the. Ironically, is replaced. Sure. I'm playing this. You and I have oh, that's the presentation. A lot of fun here. covering the amateur game. Some of these great amateur tournaments around the world. And we see this young talent, and I mean, there's a lot of it, but it only sort of eventuates in one winner. That one person gets that ticket to the US Open and the Masters. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Pretty Sport. cool. Um, but yeah, it's interesting as I'm recording this, so uh, I'm recording this during Masters Weekend in 2023, whoever, you know, whenever you, someone watches this video, we had an amateur up in the top five, you know. Now an amateur's never won at Augusta. And it's kind of crazy to think about because, you know, the tournament has a lot of ties to the amateur game. You know, Bobby Jones founded the tournament and really was a big promoter of the amateur side in golf. And obviously, as I mentioned earlier, the Latin America and the Asia Pacific championships, you know, Augusta really tries to promote and grow the amateur side of the game. So cool. So we got into the Masters and I don't know why I didn't mention the U.S. Open, but it technically should. <laughs> so I guess... You know, actually, I know what they're doing. Um, oh, I did that back. I apologize. So, it shows Augusta. I guess if you didn't qualify, then you just move on to the Corn Ferry. But yeah, that, that third one, that's the U.S. Open trophy. So, that makes sense. So, you qualify for Augusta, then you put to play the U.S. Open, and then you get to the Corn Ferry. Now, if you actually win any of the... Uh, majors then you'll get into like oh uh, sorry if you want a major you tend to get an automatic card for like five years for the pga tour i'm never sure what i have of an amateur one because it hasn't happened really in this era you know like the current era like the last hand that one i think has been like 60 70 years ago um actually i'll, I'll look this up briefly real quick i'm curious now i seem to win a major Oh, got a story here. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm way off. The last man, I think oh, there was a female player that won in the 60s, but the last male to win a major was 1933 US Open. So that's how long it's been. It's been almost 90 years. It's been 90 years since it's happened. But yeah, Bobby Jones, I found at the Desta, you know, he was, you know, he won the Claire Jug in 1930. So anyway. So that's really cool. I'm going to save this for another video, the next one, because I just want to do the, the amateur championship and kind of go over that. So, but yeah, kind of, I guess before we end this, 
Skip event, are you insane? No. Um, kinda, so, let's say, let's see what this is real quick. I'm curious what the sponsorships are. We're gonna just be like a little bonus cover since the video got cut off earlier. So, I might as well. Um, I've actually been to Torrey Pines. I haven't played it. I was there for the US Open in 2021. Let me read. Attending. As you said, I didn't play it. That's obviously what I mean. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, I'm not going to give you the read, huh? So you got to figure out your own. That's fine. It's going to be something around here. Oh, got it. So I just need to make three of these. I don't think that's going to go in. Nope. At the speed still. All right, got two. Let's see if we can get one more at least. I might try to do the live version again of YouTube. It just seemed to have some issues earlier. I didn't like how YouTube was handling it, but who knows. So yeah, that's kind of neat. Tailor made runner, interesting. The Sim 2, very cool. But yeah, kind of, anyway, so that's kind of part of the career mode. I mean, there's so many challenges. Look at this. this is the, and, and the challenge can be a little repetitive because obviously doing putts are fair, but it's like different angles or different courts. So there's a lot of, there's a lot there. And it's a good way to kind of practice your game. You'll get used to the mechanics and try to read putts. So I think it's just some definite value in that. So. Oh, so you can change Chris at any time. That's great. I would not call the USM a regular event, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so. We'll get the majors full. So the good news, when we do the next two events, it'll be full 18 whole rounds. So it'll take time to do it, but it'll be fun. And who knows, I probably well, may not even make the cut at Augusta, <laughs> knowing how it goes. So, but yeah, I think uh, I think I'll end it here in a second. But yeah, I kind of want to show you the career. I like, I like the start of it. It looks really good, so. So I'm really excited to see how this plays out and so forth. So, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good night. Or, sorry, nighttime. I hope night, day, whatever. I hope you'll be doing well and take care.